Hi Lord Emperor here to bring you a recap of the Witcher story. Prologue, Kair Morhen, Gerald of Rivia awakens, lost, with amnesia. Fellow Witchers bring you back to the Witcher stronghold Kair Morhen. A group of bandits called the Salamandra attacked the fortress, with two leaders, Azar Javid and the Professor, successfully stealing the mutagenic potions that genetically alter Witchers to give them their abilities. Chapter I Outskirts of Vizima, Gerald and his lover, the sorceress Triss Marigold, head to Vizima, the capital of Tamaria, ruled by King Foltest, in search of info on the Salamandra. On the outskirts he comes across a magically gifted child, aka, a source, named Alvin who prophesies the world being destroyed. You also learn of an ongoing conflict between the Scoia'tael, rogue elves, and the Order of the Flaming Rose, a military group tasked with protecting Tamaria. Chapter 2 The Temple Quarter, Gerald continues to hunt the Salamandra, and once again comes across Azar Javid and the Professor, but they knock him unconscious and escape. Chapter 3 The Trade Quarter, you eventually meet Princess Ada, one of Foltest's daughters. When she was younger Gerald saved her from a curse that turned her into a monster. You uncover evidence that she's now working with the Salamandra, Gerald comes across Azar Javid and the Professor once again, and manages to kill the Professor. After the battle Ada tries to have you arrested to hide her secret. Triss teleports you away from the situation. Chapter 4 Lakeside, you take care of Alvin for a bit, and give him an amulet that helps him control his unpredictable powers. The conflict between the Order of the Flaming Rose and the Tail eventually make their way to your location across the lake from Vizima. During a conflict, Alvin gets scared and teleports himself away, but is not seen again. Chapter V Old Vizima, civil war erupts between the Order and Tail, with the local non-humans joining the Tail. King Foltest tells you Princess Ada's curse is back, and asks you to help. After dealing with it, by either curing or killing Ada, King Foltest helps you locate Azar Javid. You eventually kill him but learn that the Grand Master of the Order, Jacques de Aldersberg, was working with the Salamandra. Epilogue, during a fight with Jacques, he teleports you both into a possible future that resembles the destroyed world prophesied earlier. Gerald learns that Jacques wanted the Witcher mutagenic potions to create a race of superhuman guardians to protect humanity from the potential destroyed future. After defeating Jacques, you find that he has the same amulet that Gerald gave Alvin earlier, although it seems worn by age, hinting that when Alvin disappeared he teleported himself back in time and grew up to become Jacques de Aldersberg. Ending cutscene, Gerald stops an assassination attempt on King Foltest, and finds that the dead assassin is actually another witcher. That is all for today. See you guys later.